Gandhi. Let me go now go across to uh, Thupten Jingpa as well. He is the principal translator for the Dalai Lama. Uh, sir, the, the first question remains pretty much the same that I asked Mr. Raji Merotra with regards to the message, the overarching message of the summit. Well, the key message, uh, I think it was actually the theme of the conference itself, this Global Buddhist Summit, was to really kind of um, bring attention to the resources that are available in uh, Buddhist teachings on the importance of peace and non-violent approach to dealing with the affairs and needs of human beings and society. I think that was really the key point, that there are resources in the Buddhist tradition that should be look, looked at very seriously. Um, I think, um, you know, tendency often is to resolve conflicts and problems by using force. And uh, Buddha has really, you know, one of the things that Buddha is most well known for, and generally India is well known for, is really the approach of ahimsa, non-violent approach. You know, problems and conflicts will be there so long as human societies remain. But the method of resolving the conflict, that it is a choice, and it's up to us. And non-violent is a powerful approach, which in modern times, Mahatma Gandhi has powerfully demonstrated its, you know, its efficacy. So that was the key message, I think. So when the message of peace is sent out, uh, what, what one would like to understand, for instance, a country like India too, is, uh, you know, has uh, countries around it that are aggressive in nature. Uh, was that sort of a message sent out of... Uh, stopping conflicts? I think His Holiness did not specifically speak about um, the, the current kind of global geopolitical situation, but the key message that His Holiness brought to the attention of the conference gatherings and the world at large that are viewing it was to really emphasize a key principle in the Buddha's teaching, which is the appreciation of the principle of interdependence. Because often conflicts arise because we tend to look at reality in very simplistic forms and blame one thing and then latch on to it. But Buddha's uh, teaching on principle of dependent origination, which is Pratita Samubhada, really uh, points out the complexity that is behind any major event. There are multiple causes and conditions, and it's important to recognize the interdependence because, you know, violent approach may solve a situation or a problem immediately, but then it sows the seed for yet another potential conflict down the line. So this interconnectedness or interdependence is a key, you know, kind of idea in Buddhism, and His Holiness really, in his presentation, really kind of focused more on fleshing that out. And the point he's making is that this is one one contribution Buddhist tradition can make, uh, you know, to the world where asking people to appreciate this interdependence and, you know, principle of uh, interconnectedness quite seriously so that we can, whenever we deal with the situation, we can deal with the situation with a broader perspective so that we don't immediately respond in the form of a knee-jerk reaction by you know, looking for temporary solution. Okay. I think that was the key mm. message he was bringing. All right. Uh, Thupten Jingpa, many thanks for speaking with NDTV. Thank you. Bye-bye.